in the cheapo spotlight today, the all new B-Side S5 multimeter slash voltage detector. You got it. It's one of those pen style multimeters. Don't you know? Up to 620 volts ACDC is what the B-Side S5 is capable of in terms of voltage. What do you get in the box? Well, first of all, you get a really nice carrying case. It doesn't have the B-Side logo, but it is a solid case nonetheless. Good padding here on the shell and uh, came in a nice little plastic wrap as well with a little bit of netting. So, excellente. Also, we get our standard little B-Side manual. Nice typeset, pretty verbose. Really a fairly basic meter, smart meter with some manual override. And of course, we get the meter itself. Element. I've given Beast had a hard time in the past, some of their equipment, but I gotta say I am impressed, at least slightly, with the little S5. First of all, build quality seems par excellence. Really nicely made. Um, at first, this looks like it's part of the meter. It is, it's just a rubber boot, it does come off, but wow, what a nice, nice soft grip it has. Excellent, excellent attention to detail. Speaking of attention to detail, Check this out. If you look, we have an arc for, for those soft touch buttons. So instead of just making three flat buttons, we have a really nice design here. Kind of an arcy thing going on, which, you know what? It doesn't mean much, but attention to detail is everything. And it's the little things that really impress me. Cat 3, 600 volt. We have the protector shroud as well. Take off the shroud, lose a cat rating, but still very nice. And these are really pointy, really, really sharp. Good size. Good quality. They're not silicone, but you know what? That being said, they are really nice in the hand and better than your average set of cheapo test leads. They are captive. They are permanently attached to the meter. So that may or may not be a good thing depending on how you look at it, but yeah, they are attached. That being said, really nice molded into the uh, instrument here. And you can see we've got um, not much in terms of flex going on. So hopefully, you know, when this gets moved around a lot it's not going to affect any wear and tear on the test leads themselves let's get a little mini usb-c cable now this is really mini it's like barely six inches so you know now why do you get a usb cable because it has a chargeable battery yes the battery uh connectivity is right there plug in your usb-c cable and away you go now one thing that ticks me off and i, I see this a lot i don't know why is that they put a protective cap which honestly is a major pain in the to take off so why can't it just be like a rubber inlay to protect that uh, USB-C in I don't know but they're making a big deal out of something that really shouldn't be sure. anyway chargeable via USB-C cable that my friends is a good thing to turn the meter on simply hold down on that power button and you get a beep letting you know that you are now in auto mode auto mode by default DC and AC volts as well as resistance and continuity all measured in automated auto <laughs> auto mode <sighs> i'm not going to edit that i'm not going to edit this one and by the way look at that temperature as well 20 degrees celsius uh which is <laughs> not right there's no way it's 20 degrees celsius in my lab now why is that such a weird looking temperature anyway we'll look at that in a minute but that's what you get when you turn it on another cool feature is that backlight check it out Hold down and look at that nice green luminescence. It stays on indefinitely until you decide to turn it off. But I love, absolutely love that Huey green. Once that meter is turned on, you have a section here that says voltage alert, which is basically your NCV and temperature. So you can change from high to low, back into auto. And if you hold down, it changes from Celsius to Fahrenheit like so over here we have our select button to bring us into live mode as well as a manual mode for resistance continuity dc volts ac volts nice having that manual override 
just to give you a look at the temperature, this is much more within reason, about 19 degrees Celsius here in the lab, 66 Fahrenheit, definitely not 28 degrees Celsius, or, and the fluke agrees, 19.2 degrees Celsius, so yeah, that is way on the high side. Do a little voltage test here, DC reference. I've got 2.500 is what we want to see. And we're coming in as 2.509. I'll take Next it. Next up, we want 5.00. Coming in as 5.01, 10.03, 10.00 is what we want. Only three cans out, looking good. And finally, 7.50, coming in at 7.52. So accuracy-wise, it seems to be doing just fine. This week's shout out goes to Iraq. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching. Let's try out that automotive for AC volts and 109.8 volts AC. Another cool feature is the fact that we have that nice orange alert, just letting us know we're now in high voltage uh, arena, so to speak. So. We also get our frequency here, 60 hertz, coming up automatically with that big dual display. So that is a pretty nice uh, overall look, I'd say. Only caveat is this is not true RMS, but hey, for home use, it really should make a difference. And a quick look now at resistance sitting at 1 mega ohm, 3 mega ohm, 6 mega ohm, and 10 mega ohm. Hey, that's nice and fast. And we're in auto mode, by the way. We're going to look at that non contact voltage right now. I've got it on high sensitivity. And yeah, you can see, not a, not a worry here. Now, if I put it back to low, not nearly as accurate. Well, not accurate, but as sensitive. So definitely that high sensitivity makes all the difference. Man, it's flashing. Oh, love it. Currently in live wire mode. Oh yeah, looking good. You can see what I mean by just how small that USB-C cable is, way too small. Come on, we need at least a couple of feet. Anyway, there it is. We have a small red LED at the bottom glowing, letting us know that the unit is charging. Charging takes about 45 minutes to an hour and then you are good to go. And by the way, it lasts a long time. Already teardown time, time to release the Kraken. Well, to open up the meter anyway. Here we go. And bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. We are in, I'm gonna pull out this cable just so we could pull that off. And there's those test leads that are permanently attached. Alrighty, Aphrodite, let's take a look. look at that. Beautiful filament here. That's for that amazing NCV. Oh, wow. Nice, excellent, good job. Nice not to see an input jack being utilized. Ugh. Anyway, we have a ribbon cable over here. And here we have our quad flat package, of course. Some programmable headers from the factory for calibration. And a TC zero, sorry, TC 405A, that's the EEP ROM. That is what is giving all the good info to the main IC. Here is our connector USB-C. That is for the battery housing. It makes contact with the back of the battery for that lithium battery, which is right over there. And look at it's just a tiny thing, just a tiny little battery, 3.7 volt lithium battery. But wow, it is just so small. It's just so gently taped in as well. Here we have the positive and negative input jack. Soldering is not bad, pretty big, thick clumps of solder there, so that's uh, that's okay. We have a resistor clamp at the bottom, and basically, that's it for this side. So let's uh, take a looky, shall we, on the other side. And here we have the main display underneath, and look at that, it's no uh, zebra strip, no last bar. No, that's what that flat ribbon cable is for. That is what is feeding the display itself. So very interesting. Our soft touch buttons over there, and Basically, that's it. No other forms of input protection on the back. No PTCs or anything funky like that, unfortunately. Do have some gap protection though, which isn't bad. But there you go. All in all, not bad. Fairly thick PCB as well, which is always a good thing. Closing thoughts on the B-Side S5. Yes, I do like this little pen style meter. 
Not only is it well made, but it's really well thought out. It just works really well. Not the most powerful, but hey, come on, it's a pen style meter. It's only going to do so much. One thing I'm not crazy about is that temperature uh, onboard sensor. Man, oh man, look at that. That is just way out of wacko. And I hope it's a one-off with this meter, but it is certainly not accurate. Since the temperature full pot, everything else was spot on. And man, this had really good NCV, which is gonna be used for a lot of different things with this it meter. It for around 25 to $30 US, thereabouts. Prices vary, fluctuate all the time. And hey, you know what? Christmas is coming around, so this will probably drop in price again. End of the day, it's a really good pen style meter with a great looking display. The B-Side S5 gets a solid. 3.5 out of 5 stars. Let's just fix up this temperature boo-ha and we've got a game winner right here. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.